I've had a couple of people ask me where can they use the images that viral word search creates. The answer is anywhere. You can use them on Facebook. You can use them on Pinterest. You can use them on Tumblr. You could use them on LinkedIn if you wanted to. You could use them on your own WordPress sites or your own HTML sites or Joomla sites. You can use them anywhere. You could post them on Twitter as a Twitter pic. So really, you can put them anywhere that allows you to put an image. If you can upload a photo, then you can upload your viral word search. Make sure it's got the branding at the top, your logo or a message, and a message at the bottom. You could do different messages for different mediums. You can do pretty much whatever you like. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a video showing you how it works. Hi, welcome to Viral Word Search. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very first viral word search image. I've got a website, I've got a Facebook group, I've got a Facebook page, all about TVs. So what I want to do is I want to do something to engage the people who are on that page. Get them to comment, get them to share, get them to like. We know they're into TVs. So what we're going to do is just put in a few different names of TV companies. Now, you have to have a minimum of three words and a maximum of ten. Each word has to be a minimum of three letters and a maximum of ten. The grid we produce is a ten by ten. There are instructions over here on the right hand side, but I don't really think you'll need them. Add your words in here where it says add word and you will see a list. If you've got one that you don't want to use anymore, just highlight it, click on remove. You can now pick the font, Arial, Verdana, Times New Roman. What font colour do you want? What about a background colour? I'll go with plain old white for that. I want to put a border around it. And because I like to brand these images, or you can use it to share an extra message, I want to put a banner. So... And that could be a JPEG or a PNG. You don't have to use one if you haven't got one. Comment with your So I've put comment with your favourite brand of TV. Even if people don't do the word search, it's pushing them to do something, it's giving them a direct instruction. So a comment is a comment. It's all good. Comments and likes and shares are great. That's what you need on Facebook. Obviously you can still use these images on your websites, on Google Plus, on Pinterest. Okay? You can use them anywhere you like. For Facebook, put a message in there that pushes them to do something. Um, share with your friends. Like and let us know which is your favourite brand of TV. And then just click on the preview. You can see you've got the header up there. You've got the word search puzzle here and then you've got my comment. You can see the words in there. Okay so you can see you've got Samsung down here down the side. So you can see it works and it will produce the words uh, down, across and diagonally. And all you do is export the image to wherever you want. It will automatically save as a JPEG and it will automatically save in a size that works on Facebook. So when you put it into your Facebook account it will look perfectly normal in the Facebook stream. It really is as simple as that. You can just do a reset and do another one. Okay, super quick, nice and easy tool to use. You can use it on as many um, accounts as you've got, you can use it on as many pages as you've got, you can use it on your websites. I don't mind how you use it, just get out there and get sharing. As always, if you need more help, uh, contact me, I'm always around. Have a good one. Bye.